Hi guys, James at Rampant Lion Reviews again for you today with another beer review. For this one we are going to head back to Scotland and it's been a little while actually since I've reviewed a Scottish beer for you on the channel. So for this one we're going to head back to Edinburgh and we're going to do my second visit if I'm remembering correctly to the Camper Van Brewery. So this is a beer from their Wandering series, it's called Steampunked and it's kind of a collaboration brew with Steambunk, uh, Steampunk sorry, uh, coffee roasters from North Berwick. But this guy is a porter and it comes in at 4% ABV. The last beer that I reviewed from these guys I think was like a hoppy uh, Weitz and a hoppy wheat beer which was really nice so I'm interested to try something from the other side of the spectrum. As I always say when it comes to reviewing craft beer and, uh, and when you're looking at a particular brewery you always want to try something from the uh, from the lighter side of things and something from the darker side of things to get an idea of what a brewery is all about. But really looking forward to this one. As I say I was impressed with the last beer I had from them and hopefully this is one that follows in the same light so I hope you guys enjoy my take on this one so anyway as is usual with my reviews then I'll tell you a little bit about the brewery if you want to get straight to the tasting of course just fast forward all the usual links are in the description below that's the brewery website link my other reviews that I've done from camper van brewery before hopefully I can do some more in the fairly near future there's all the usual social media if you want to see more beer reviews do please consider subscribing to the channel the whole channel of course has a geography based tagging system so you can go into the home page and search for beer based on country city state prefecture county whatever it is you're interested in do check out the playlist of beers from different countries there is one there for all the scottish beers i've reviewed for you that's constantly being added to and as always please do get in touch and let me know some other beers and breweries that you guys would like to see me review it's always great to hear from you guys that are watching the videos and the support that you show the channel is hugely appreciated so anyway, to tell you a little bit about the Camper Van Brewery then. So the Camper Van Brewery was founded by Paul Wilson and he had to take a break from his work due to uh, having to look after his wife who needed some major surgery. But during his downtime when he was looking after her, he started to brew beer as a bit of an escape. And he'd always been interested in beer and home brewing and stuff like this. And he spent a lot of his time actually reading brewing literature, trying to learn as much as he could. And then he started brewing in his garage and attended some different courses as well. But he then decided when his wife got better that he wanted to go pro and he decided to combine his passion for Volkswagen vintage camper vans with his love of beer brewing. So he started converting a 1973 Volkswagen camper which is known as the Hoppy Camper or Olive by his kids and it's equipped with a small brew kit. I think it was only about 50 litres or so that he was brewing in that and it also has some beer dispensers as well and he used to brew the beer and drive around Edinburgh and basically sell it as a kind of mobile bar which was pretty cool and primarily it was around the Edinburgh area that he was operating but now they have actually expanded a little bit. They do have their own brewery in the Boddington Business Centre in Edinburgh and it has its own tap room as well and they seem to be quite prolific these days. There's a few, if you look at their Facebook page, there's a few beers, They've all, they're always posting pictures of their beer board at the tap room and uh, they're saying all oh, brewery exclusive beer so I'm guessing that those are the ones that are still brewed uh, on the very very small batch but they do have a couple of beers that seem to be core range these days and they have scaled up a little bit and I'm quite glad that they've done that because as I say the last beer that I had from them I was really impressed with so that whole thing about the camper van it is a bit of a novelty but at the same time you know you are limiting yourself in terms of capacity when you do something like that so it is cool to see that they've kind of started doing it a little bit more commercially now because the quality of the beer that they were producing um, is pretty good. So yeah, if you get the chance to try some of the camper van beers, I definitely recommend you do. They're one of the more experimental craft breweries that you're going to find in Scotland, I would say. So if you find yourself in Edinburgh, do go and check out their tap room if you get the chance. Hopefully I can do that at some point fairly soon. But yeah, I'll just let you have a little look at the artwork of this one before we open up. Quite nicely presented. As I said, this is part of the Wandering series, this beer. So I think this is maybe one that they kind of develop on the um you know, it's when they go around and do collaborations and stuff like this. So as I was saying, the coffee that they've put in this porter is provided by Steampunk, who are a, a coffee roaster from North Berwick. It says on the side here, Wandering number one, Steampunk. This is what happens when two classic Volkswagen camper vans collide. So Steampunk provide the coffee, camper van brewery create the magic in the beer. Four espresso additions throughout the brew process give this this porter a serious hit of coffee. Um, so yeah, nicely presented beer, this one. That's all you really need to know. As I say, check out the brewery website and stuff in the description if you want to read more. A uh, plain bottle cap on this beer by the way, but let's get it out and we'll get on with the tasting then. A 4% porter beer. Oh, there we are. <laughs> it's gone a little bit crazy. So yeah, let's just get it out and we'll get it into the glass then. We'll just pour it slowly and let it settle. That's always the risk you have when you're doing beer reviews. You will get some beers that will just explode like that. 
So yeah, there we are. We'll just let it settle just now. But I tell you something right away. You can smell the uh, you can smell the coffee coming right out of that beer. You can definitely smell the espresso. So. As you can see, and as you would expect from a porter beer, this one's poured a nice dark ebony rosewood. You can see there's a big head. I would say a kind of fairly dark beigey tan head on this one. One or two big bubbles sticking towards the side of the glass there, and quite a few little ones just heading up towards the bottom of that head. Um, but pretty much as you would expect, that you know, it looks as you would expect a porter to. Let's just fire the last little bit of this in then. And we should be okay. But yeah, you can really smell some of these nice kind of coffee notes coming out of this beer. So yeah, let's take a closer look at the aroma then and just see how we get on with this one. So yeah, the coffee note in this is quite interesting. It's almost got a little bit of an ashy quality to it. I think it's a wee bit sort of aromatic as well. I mean, I don't know if it's four different um, espresso additions that they've done to it, like four different sort of coffee beans or what, but... The notes from the coffee for me, it does have a little bit of a an aromatic quality to it. I think it's a little bit sort of earthy as well, which is quite interesting. But you can definitely smell, you can smell a little bit of the chocolatey sweetness, which I'm guessing will be coming from the malts in this beer. There's not really a brown sugar element to this one. There's a good little bit of earthy hop and there's a wee touch of a red fruity note, there's a little bit of an almost kind of figgy note, it might even have just a little touch of a raisiny sharpness to it in terms of fruity quality of this beer, but as I say, earthy hops, nice little bit of roasted black malt in there, there's a little bit of an ashy quality to this one, like I was saying as well, but yeah, the coffee to me smells quite aromatic and quite smooth, but yeah, it does smell like a really nice beer, this one actually. Just take a little bit of time and enjoy the aroma of that because the coffee notes in this beer really do have a little bit of complexity to them. But yeah, that smells pretty good. I'm excited to try this one, so let's just get stuck into it. So this is the Steampunked, a porter beer at 4.0% uh, Sorry, with Steampunked from North Berwick, uh, just near Edinburgh, part of the Wandering series from Campervan. As I say, I'm glad that I've seen these guys have kind of scaled up a little bit. Let's get stuck into this beer. Slanja, skull. Yeah, that's a pretty nice beer, this one. I have to say that. They've definitely done a good job of this. If you get the chance to try it, have a go at it. It's just, the porter is one, if it's done right, you know, it can be really, really good. And I'll say that about this beer. The, the kind of coffee porter thing. I'm not even a great fan of coffee. Like, I never ever drink coffee, other than probably in stouts and in porters and things like that. But it really can add another dimension to the beer, I think. Um, they've definitely done a nice job of this, so if you get the chance to try this beer, have a go at it. But yeah, that is pretty nice. So with these dark beers, as I always say, sugar the beer around your palate a little bit and just let your whole mouth adjust to it before you start thinking too much about the flavour. But I'll tell you something, the coffee and the smoothness from the coffee of this beer really takes over the flavour and it's, it's just nice how everything goes together. So yeah, with this one, there's a little bit of a roasted black malt backbone to it, which you would expect from the style, but then the coffee, like I was saying, there's almost... You can feel a little bit, I'm not sure they'll be using pale malt in this beer right enough, but it almost has that, that kind of flat malty quality, just blankets the middle of your palate as well. And then the coffee flavours are just kind of almost like embedded in that. The coffee that comes out of this beer, it's really, really nice actually. I just, I like how everything in this beer goes together. But yeah, it really is good that. So yeah, the coffee notes for me, it's a lot smoother and it's not quite as aromatic and stuff as I was thinking it would be from the aroma. It definitely, the coffee notes in this beer definitely smell a little bit more aromatic than they come across. To me, it's just a really nice, smooth, it has a little bit of earthiness to it. As I say, I'm not the most well-versed person you're going to find in terms of coffee. I can always tell you if it's, I can probably taste it and tell you, oh, that's like a nice coffee bean compared to, like, you know, a, a shitty one or something like that. But the coffee flavours... 
that come across in this beer are just they're really nice. It's it's very very smooth this one, um, and I think there I. I don't think this is an aromatic coffee. I think it's more of a, a slightly earthy one more than anything like that. But the earthiness, it's not overpowering in that sense. It does have a little bit... I don't know if you could say it's maybe a sort of floral coffee more than anything else. Or it's just a little touch... It's not quite citrusy. I'm not sure how to describe that. All I can tell you is that the way the coffee flavours come out across in this is quite nice. It's almost just got a little bit of sweetness to it as well, which is quite nice. I think there's definitely a little bit of a chocolatey presence to this beer as well, but all of that's happening in the middle of the malt base. As I say, there's that sort of flat malty quality to this beer, and then it's almost like the coffee is just um, embedded inside it, which is really nice. In the back corners of the palate, there's a little bit of earthiness there. You can feel that smooth earthiness just spreading forward along the sides of your tongue and then round the front curve of the palate. There's just a little bit of a kind of lighter, um, grassy note to this beer as well. But yeah, and then if you just go behind the front curve of the palate, that's where you get the little oily bubble where some of those nice kind of fruity esters will start to come out of the beer. But it, it, everything in this this one just goes together really nicely. The fruity esters in this one, by the way, are just a little bit of a kind of light, um, it's just a little bit of a slightly light candied fruit. It's just got a little touch of that red fruit quality. It's almost like those little heart-shaped sweets that I always talk about from the Harry Bo Starmix. It's just got that kind of flavour to it, which is really nice. But as I say, this beer, it's not too punchy in any one regard. I mean, the, the coffee flavour does dominate the flavour, but it's not, you know, really in your face, if you like. It, this beer is just all about how these flavours blend together, and it's just it's really well done. That's what I like. If a porter can kind of achieve that, I'm, I'm more of a stout fan than a porter, I would have to admit, than a porter fan, I would have to say. But if you can get a porter right and balance it in the way this one's balanced, pardon me, you know, I can really appreciate that. So I'll say to Camper Van Brewery, thumbs up on this one. They've done a nice job of it. And I just like the way all these flavours come out. So in terms of the mouthfeel of this beer then, I would say mid-bodied, carbonation. Um, it has a little bit of a prickle to it, this one, but this one is getting very close to its um, its, its drink by date, so it may well be due to that. Um, the mouthfeel overall, I would say, is quite smooth. It's not really oily. It's more of a smooth mouthfeel that you get with this one. The malt base has a good balance. It is, does lean a little bit more towards the roasty, bitter side of things, but the coffee kind of smooths it out a little bit. The hops are very smooth in this beer, and there's just a little touch of a red fruity character uh, to this one as well. But um, overall, it's really nice, this. I would definitely say they've done a good job uh, with this one, and uh, I'd like to try a few more dark beers from Campervan as well, but from this brewery, from the beers I've tried, I can say they do the wheat beers very nicely, they do the dark beers very nicely. I want to try an IPA from them and see how they get on that, to try one of the bigger kind of hoppy uh, beast beers, but I really enjoyed the, the, the Weizen that I reviewed from them before. That was a really good beer. But um, I would say overall, from what I've, ha from what I've had, and from what people have told me, Camper Van are just a really, really solid brewery and they're definitely one of the ones that I'd recommend you check out when it comes to Scottish beer. But their beers are a little bit hard to get. It's not that often that you'll find the bottles of them, although I think that's going to get better over the next little while. But let's leave it at that. So the, the steampunked porter beer from the Wandering Series Camper Van, I really recommend you try this. If you like coffee, I think you're definitely going to enjoy this beer. Um, but once again, thank you for watching my beer reviews. Until the next time, please like, subscribe, share, all the usual YouTube stuff let me know your own thoughts on this one in the comment section below let me know what your favorite beers are from the camper van brewery as well and do let me know some other ones that i should be checking out there's a lot of new breweries popping up in scotland these days and a lot of them are doing some really really nice stuff so until the next time slide you just now and i will catch you guys very soon the steampunked porter from the camper van brewery in edinburgh make sure you check them out check out my social media and all that and i will catch you guys very soon slide you just now